Hello people, this is your boy Jang Steven, aka Steve Slill in the building. And right here on the next gym show, I have my man Rapcon. Peace. Hey man, what's up? What's up? Peace! Peace! Hey man! Peace, peace, peace! Oh! One love, man. So, so what's up? What's up? I'm can you good, can man. you tell me your 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 real names? I mean, Rapcom is okay. your. Okay. As you all know, I'm a con innocent, right? Representing Rapcom for mentors. That's me. That's yeah. mentors, like the group. Yeah, mentors, a group. Okay. Yeah. So, what part of the country do you hail from? What region of the country? Uh, um, from everywhere, but from northwest, probably. So bro, tell me, yeah, yeah. When, when did you venture into music? You know, that question is kind of funny, man, but let me put it this way. Sing from my mama's home, okay? Sing from your mama's home? Yo, yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, you started like a kid? Yeah, yeah, you started oh, like a kid. Like, are you serious to start in your mom's room? Yeah, I'm serious, man. Do I look like I'm kidding? <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, um, what projects have you been initiated so far? Okay. I'm um, gonna first we launched the um, uh, Mentos album at the Frank Orleans Goya. Um, uh, that was the Uprising. And that was the what song. was the title of the album? The Uprising. The Uprising. Yeah. And that was a very good success because, you know, our market was just too late. Many we sold about 3,000 nah, copies. Nah, 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 man. That's gross exaggeration, yo. Yeah, yeah, we are yeah. like 350 copies. Why? Because we targeted all of the students. Okay. Um, so, um, with the infi infiltration of Nigerian music into the Cameroonian music industry, like the P Squares, the Two Faces, um, the 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 the, the Timayas. Yeah. Okay. Do you think? Do you actually think rap music can break through? You know, let me tell you how this rap music operates. Like. Rap is like a philosophy. The better you speak, the best market you get. So everything is just to keep confident. Yeah, it's not that you have a Nigerian stuff that is eating on market, and everybody is like, even the least kid on the road, it's like singing. I don't see my wife. I don't see my wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, both are Nigerians. Keep, Nigerians, yo. So but the thing is, we do good stuff, believe me. We do good stuff in Cameroon. And it's high time our population started following our music trend. Yep. Because if you play Nigerian song, you play Cameroonian song, somebody prefers to listen to Nigerian song. Why? And we do good recordings. Right. Chiller music is there, they do their things, street dogs, we have subs, we have tickets, we have good recordings. You know? So we're coping with this music. Why? Because we have people who love it and people appreciate what we do and the buy and stops. So at least because if that album could sell 250 copies, yeah, yeah, yeah just, uh -huh. strictly, just students. So, I understand. Yeah. So, um, what? kind of message yeah. do you cut across okay. in your songs, like your lyrics? Alright, my lyrics are like influential, you know, life is not what you think it is, it's made up of ups and downs and um, I'm not like for the kind of sophisticated imagin imaginary rap, people flow like, I cannot be telling you smoking crack. 99 millimeters. Oh, I'm, I'm riding on hey, a Lamborghini. I'm riding a Lamborghini on a Cadillac. Damn, man. I've never no, seen no, one no, that's true, drive that's to true. life. Okay? Oh, I shoot, I shoot it. I pull a trigger, kill another nigga. You know? Man, man, that's <laughs> so. Hilarious. I'm like, okay, I come straight. I'm making a comment. The thing with music is, have contact with the public. Okay? The message goes to the public. If I'm like, this music philosophy comes like a reflex, reflecting my shadow, and that's how I flex. I put the beats harder, what I'm going to next. Uh, uh, yeah, I waited far too long. Pray don't not, baby, to be known. Come on, I'm not the rap king. Man, up. that's some yeah, sick yeah. freestyle, so man. You're like telling the people. Man, my man, my man is awesome. Yeah. You can't have you can't have nobody like you. You know, if I was a girl, I'd have said, oh, I feel flattered, but I'm not. I'm a G, yo, straight up. Okay, so um, tell me about your, your, your forthcoming projects. Okay. What are you planning for the future with your group, Mentos? Alright, um, what we have in mind now is to make a very good video. A very good video. A top notch video like what the Nigerians a, do. A world, like a world class video, believe me. Wow. No, we have the system where you just make a sound, right? And shoot anything with your own. No. We want to take time because people are like asking since we launched, why have we not done the video? But Rapcom is like, no, we gotta take time. 
you know, slowly and slowly, you catch the car. Okay. So are you are you like the leader of the group? Like no, my leader. How, oh, sh on how large you drive and skirts, they're not around now. Rap is so busy and skirts is not around, so rap come out the show. So that's it. And um, one is the video, the next is coming up with the program. You know, tell me about, you know tell about, me about this it. American program. Do you think you can dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe Watch. I've watched it a couple of. I've yeah, watched yeah, it a yeah. couple of times. We are planning to make a thing like that here in Boya. We are going to invite the groups like Black LM, Season, Teams, Season. Yeah. All those. Yeah. Uh, the, all the, those. Like, like, are you going to base more on the Boya dancers or? You know, Maybe you invite dancers from um, from Douala, Yaoundé. No, not yet. For the moment, I want to start this around my, my community first. I start around the university. Maybe that takes me to the next question. Yeah. So is it that are you facing a lot of difficulties? Yeah. Well, that like that. like financial financial difficulties. You know. Okay, we in the group. I mean, right? like like the challenges you face, like difficulties, is it finances. Finances. Let me put it this way. We need support too. We need support but what we do now is we like do some contributions. Contribute we in the group, right? You have a manager, smart, you have to contribute and we don't have faith. So at the moment we don't have to have to Yeah. So can you throw more light on the dance event? Like I said, we are doing this event and we're inviting groups like Black Hair Lema and um, all the other dance groups around so and all the others, right? Team Zims. They're going to come around and they do their performances, okay? Is it going and to be like a competition or it's going to be just like, a showcase? It's not a competition because the winner goes over 250 bucks. Wow, man, that's some big box. Where do you get that money from, man? Man, if you love something, you spend on that thing. I don't give a damn where I get that song for, but I'm investing in it, okay? Oh, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. That's awesome. It's quite inspirational to yeah. have people like you yeah, who are out to foster the industry. Mm -hmm. So, um... Do you think of uh, concerts, like showcasing your talents in the form of concerts? Do you, have, um, you been, have you been doing shows? Steve, man. Steve, okay, I'm not offensive, okay? Stop pretending, man. I've attended a show with you, okay? <laughs> Stop pretending, yeah. Man, this is a monster in the building. We have been for Star Festival. We have been with Sona from MTV Base. Yeah. We have been Everywhere. with X Malaya. We have been Everywhere. places, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you, You've been in the industry for a while, man. For a long time. And you yeah. understand all the... For a long time. The difficulties we've been having. I so know far. what we have been going through. The financing, the support, the break through the market, all that. Okay, so what's your take on piracy? Paris, wow. You know, that's what it was it was like far back in the days and it started I was eating all of the system. Half a theory when you see a thief, right? If you cannot abet that thief, if you cannot get that thief, you cannot trap him, hold him down. Okay? Because if you have to hold down somebody, you gotta lie down with that person. You cannot hold down a thief, support him, believe me. Maybe some people see my, my, my children very funny or, because I believe if somebody pirates your stuff and you know that person is pirating your stuff and you cannot stop it, whatever you do, people will see pirate. Men, use, give the pirates. Okay, yeah. So that's, that's his take on piracy, you know, that's, that's a plague we are trying to come back here in Cameroon. So um, can you give your last word to upcoming artists like you? Like, tell them, Give them a word of encouragement. Okay. You know, Steve, I don't know how much of your time you got, alright? But I'm gonna say this. My message is gonna come in form of freestyle. Man, freestyle, man! Okay, okay, can you do my. Yo! Yo! Uh, take it! Okay. The game's so cunning. No one to trust. Put your fire burning. You really got it cross. All rappers on the block, you can get it so straight. I'm walking deep and everybody's cooking. What you wanna say, rap coming in, kidding. I made big records. What you gonna say? Watch me fly, green sneakers I aim. It's uh, your boss just lean in the building. Okay. Yep. Uh, thank you, man. Straight up. Man, 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 man. You a wonderful man. You're wonderful. Nice having you on next thing. Peace, man. Rap come.